Oh boy, so let's go over the timeline of how things go down real quickly. About a week ago, January 15th, 2022, the Vancouver Canucks announced that Yaroslav Halak was placed into protocol and that Spencer Martin of the Abbotsford Canucks had been called up to the taxi squad. That was while the team was on their road trip in America, right before their game against the Carolina Hurricanes. Three days ago, before the game against the Florida Panthers at home, Thatcher Demko tests positive and he is placed into protocol as well. The Florida game comes and goes. Spencer Martin plays with Michael DiPietro as the backup because Demko and Halak are both out. And Martin does pretty well. We talked about this a few days ago. That game was a pretty good showing of a guy that hadn't played in the NHL in a few years and was looking to get some redemption. However, yesterday, we had ourselves Rick Dollywell, who said this on Twitter, replying to a thread asking, why isn't DiPietro or Arthur Silov starting with the Abbotsford Canucks tonight? Sources say the Canucks are dealing with the situation with one of the goalies in Vancouver. Still trying to confirm. And so, when Dollywall tweeted this out yesterday, a lot of people started to panic. Okay, what the heck is going on with our goalies? Do we have another guy who is also positive and who's going to be placed in the protocol? Rick Dollywall follows up and he says, It sounds like either Martin or DiPietro may have tested positive this morning. The team is waiting on more results. And so the Vancouver Canucks, already down their main starter and their main backup, now have one of their two replacements, who are AHL caliber guys, also test positive too. We were all kind of speculating, okay, what the heck is going on? Who is it? Is it Martin or is it DiPietro? Who's going to play against St. Louis on Sunday, which is today? And earlier in the hour, Rick Dollywell says, for those asking, Spencer Martin will undergo more PCR tests this morning. The Canucks are hoping for the best. And this aligns very well with what Thomas Drance says about the morning skate. Mike DiPietro is the first goalie off the ice at morning skate. Um, actually, I guess he's the only goalie at morning skate. Well, I guess he has left the ice anyway. He then goes out there and says this. Spencer Martin did indeed test positive on a rapid test yesterday. The PCR test yesterday, though, came back negative yesterday afternoon. The club is awaiting further testing, but they aren't optimistic. Here's another compounding issue that makes things even worse. Artur Silovs, the Abbotsford guy who was the backup to the backup to the backup in the depth chart, technically speaking, also tested positive. So expect an emergency backup goalie backup. It's a really tough blow for Spencer Martin, who performed exceptionally well on Friday. Hopefully he is able to produce a few negatives and play on Sunday. Typically speaking, though, the Rapids have been bang on for NHL teams and even run a bit ahead of the lab PCR tests. So Vancouver's kind of screwed. We're really screwed here. No Halak, because even though that was a week ago, we still have some things to go over with him and trying to return to the team. Demko is out still. Martin is now out, and now Arthur Silovs, who also was a backup, backup, backup option in Abbotsford, is out too. It's why a few days ago, the Abbotsford Canucks went out there and signed Joe Murdaka to a contract, and he actually played yesterday. He's been all over in the ECHL this year. They just needed a body to play, and they got this guy in yesterday when they played the San Diego Gulls. But now you take a look at where things align. Vancouver has themselves their main starter, Thatcher Demko, who is out. The backup, Yaroslav Halak, is out with a border issue. We'll talk about that in a few minutes, too. Third string goalie, Spencer Martin, awaiting further testing, is likely out. AHL goalie, Arthur Silovs, is out. DiPietro will start today. This is what Rick Dollywell says about the Halak situation. What's more frustrating is that Halak is 100% better after five days of quarantining in the U.S., but because of the international border travel rules, he's not allowed into Canada for 10 days. He is expected to be back in Vancouver on Tuesday, which is not today. It's the day after tomorrow. So we're going to have to wait a while for Yaroslav Halak, the first goalie who actually was out in protocol to return to the team. And so now, with only two real goalies in the system who are available to play, DiPietro in the NHL starting today against St. Louis, and you also have Murdaka for the Abbotsford Canucks, who is going to be playing again, likely, for the Abbey Canucks game against the Gulls again, you have yourselves what are two U Sports goaltenders who will be the backups today. Per U Sports sources, both the NHL and AHL Canucks will have backups from this league. Ryland Toth from the UBC Thunderbirds and Taylor Joseph from the Trinity Western University Spartans are going to be the backups for these clubs tonight. 
Toths has been a regular NHL emergency backup goaltender for several seasons. This comes from Ben Steiner. And so, hey, you want to talk about some emergency backup goalie magic? Michael DiPietro was going to be playing today against the St. Louis Blues. This is going to be a good chance for him to redeem himself after the only NHL game played he had before, which was against San Jose, where he absolutely got blown out. It wasn't really his fault because the team was kind of out with a whole bunch of very unforeseeable injuries with Markstrom and Demko, but... There was, indeed, one showcase of DiPietro so far in the NHL in 2019-20 that was a lot less than favorable. However, we're now a few years into the future, and I just hope to goodness gracious that Michael DiPietro actually shows up and plays well. He hasn't really been fantastic this season with Abbotsford. He has an 8.96 save percentage in 13 games played and a 3.19 goals against, so... I honestly don't know how optimistic I am for the goaltending in this game, but I would love to be completely proven wrong and shown that everything is going to be okay. But for all intents and purposes, as I said a few days ago, I'm going to say it again here. The Vancouver Canucks are screwed, dude. Holy crap. Yaroslav Halak is not allowed back into the country for a few more days. Demko is still out. Martin is now out, technically speaking. Silovs is out, DiPietro is the only one in, and we have a UBC goaltender backing him up today. It's gonna be wild, isn't it? Talk to me in the comments, let your thoughts, I hope you enjoyed. This was your Ash Rolls and I and I. And, bye.